This short video is about the Cinelink device that I blogged about, um, which I bought from AliExpress and I put on tech.scargill.net. This little USB adapter device costs well under £4 in the UK. What it does is, okay, it has an app and it's used to control USB, to turn USB on and off by Wi-Fi. The app is utterly useless, but as you'll see in the blog, I put Tasmota on it, which is free replacement software. I write about Tasmota a lot because I like it. Um, so there it is. It's plugged into a USB 3 hub. And on the output is a little battery pack. Now, I don't want to leave that battery pack on charge constantly. So let's give this a shot. There is the um, device uh, Tasmota on the CineLink, which its default name there is XY WF USB module. So if I simply hit toggle, you'll find it turn on. It won't make any noise. If I hit that toggle again, I can turn it off. Alternatively, because we're using Tasmota, I can say Alexa, turn on USB. That's what I've decided to call this particular device because I've only got the one. When I get two or three of them, I'll call them USB 1, USB 2 and USB 3. Anyway, there you go. I can just sit here and say, Alexa, turn off USB. And there we have my article on the subject over at tech.scargill.net. If I click on the article... you'll see lots and lots of information on the subject. So this little plastic box will apparently handle up to 20 volts and up to 5 amps, so that's 100 watts. I doubt very much whether it'll actually handle that or not. But all the information is on the blog. There is the um, Tasmota template for this particular device. It's all explained on the blog. All I had to do to put that special software on was take five household pins, put them into the board in these tiny little holes that I couldn't otherwise reach, and fasten an FTDI to the board and program it with a program called Tasmatizer. All of that's on the blog, but I'm just giving you a visual here. And here is apparently a use for this little device. There's the blue device at the front there. They're showing, I think, some kind of power supply and meter. I'm not really sure what they've done there. However, and I think the wires they've used are a bit thin for 5 amps, but I'm sure they had their purposes. That's not my photograph, I just hasten to add. Um, I think this is going to be a good little gadget. It's well under £4 to buy, um, so I think I'm going to buy a few of them. I'll probably have to pull the usual stunt with China and order them one at a time. Otherwise, I'll end up with duty and everything else on them. But I'm not in a rush, so uh, it'll be a nice summer project. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, there's the link there for you. See if you're looking it up. Have fun. And be sure to check out the rest of my videos and the blog if you're interested in this kind of technology. Hi there, Pete Scargill. I hope you like this video. It's the first time I've done one of these using the mobile software. I normally do my videos on a PC. But I thought I would try the phone and it's such a nice day. I thought I'd give you an outside shot as well.